This morning I'm previewing 4801 Lye Road is the latest of the bank-owned or REO offerings that just came on the market this week, located upcountry in Kalaheo. This is up above the reservoir, very, very much a country setting. The road coming up this way is a little two-lane road, I mean, excuse me, one-lane road. And um, I'll check, but I would imagine most of the land around here is zoned agricultural. This one is showing on MLS as being zoned residential and not a CPR. I'd want to double check that for you. It's a listing from a company in Oahu. This is the first foreclosure I've seen with this much damage. Um, evidently had an angry tenant or perhaps the owners who were evicted, but you'll see the boarded windows here. Inside it's dark because there's no electricity, but it's boarded up. There's holes in the walls. I would refer you to the slideshow, which has more details with my flash. But obviously it was remodeled, has some great, uh, was in great condition at one time, and some of the elements of that are still here, so it could be worth considering. This house was originally built in 1989. It is 1,104 square feet. Um, most of the damage that I can see appears to be minor cosmetic things like you would have with the angry tenant. However, that does raise a red flag to say you want to have a very thorough inspection to make sure there's no structural damage. But with the, the paint, the new windows, the vinyl windows, the tile, here's the in-suite bath, I guess, and what is the master. Obviously, somebody punched their whole hand through where the mirror was, a broken toilet. And uh, this is just linoleum, Berber carpet. The flooring here, I'm gonna, you'll see it better on the still photos because I have a flash. But here you can see the original tile from the 80s underneath. This is the laundry closet. And then the type of uh, fabricated wooden finishing that's floating over. So the floor appears to be in good condition. Um, our best understanding is the stackable is here. There's um, only one plug that the 220. Here's the downstairs carport or garage. It's a, you know obviously not an enclosed garage and probably not allowed to be, but it is covered because you're parking under the house. And you have the utility sink for cleaning up coming from the beach or your fish. Um, looks like well there's water outlet, but no, the wash and dryer hookups are definitely inside. If you want to see some of the structure the bottom of the house and the flooring. We've got a clear view of that here. I would imagine this is not a flood zone because you're upcountry above the, wa the water in the reservoir and it's flowing obviously down towards the ocean. But we could verify that. However, given that this is um, built up high off the ground, you should be you know, quite safe. My client and I are trying to figure out the border to this property, and we found a CPR corner stake here. Although it's not listed as a CPR, um, our best understanding is it probably is. And so the boundary would go down along here where the fence is. There's a string kind of marking the border coming down. They must have just put the string up to prevent people from driving. This could have been a planned driveway at one time. It's leveled off here, as if that's the case, to mark off the half acre. And I'll have to check with the county. And I'm sorry, this is where MLS gets confusing because this is listed as residential, but it is very likely a CPR and it may be zoned agricultural. I'll have to check on that.